so we finally made it to the point in our build where we can do our hot drink montage. It seems like everybody who builds these bus conversions or does a van conversion or something like that does this montage where they make a hot drink in the kitchen that they just installed. We finally made it. The second part of that propane system video was what pipe do you use and why? In this video, we're going to go over the pros and cons of propane piping, specifically for the purposes of RVs, tiny houses, and schoolies. All right, the first one on our list today is black pipe. Now, black pipe is probably used in your house. Now, black iron pipe has been used for propane for a long time. The pros on this one is obviously it's a very strong pipe. Um, unfortunately, that, that also comes with it being a very heavy. So if your weight is a concern, you might not consider this as heavily as some of the other options. Um, it is very rigid and it might develop leaks with repeated stress and vibrations from lots of travel. It also might experience rust if you're around coastal environments a whole lot. If you plan on doing a lot of beach camping, black iron pipe might not be for you. It's relatively easy to install. It does come pre-threaded. Yellow Teflon tape for gas or a suitable pipe compound or pipe dope is definitely necessary for installation. If your connections were to make themselves loose, in most cases, two wrenches would probably be all you need to fix it. If you're looking for something a little lighter and more flexible, consider corrugated stainless steel tubing. Also known as CSST. This stuff usually runs about six to eight bucks per linear foot. And the pros on this is that it's very flexible and light and it comes pre-threaded in most cases. Similarly to every other flexible pipe on this list, it can be kinked and it might break if stressed too much. Stainless steel is pretty good about not rusting, so you shouldn't have any environmental conflicts on this one. Yellow Teflon tape or applicable pipe dope is always required in installation to prevent leaks. And I would use considerable amount of caution when going through walls as to not create a pinch point, which can result in a broken hose. If you're looking for a more flexible non-metal option, rubber hosing might be the pipe for you. This is the one people are more familiar with because it's commonly used in portable propane such as barbecue grills, heaters, and fire pits. Because it's so easy to install, you can find this in pre-manufactured RVs. It's light and flexible, but is also susceptible to chafing and rodent damage. Rubber also degrades with time, and you can only anticipate this one to last you about 10 years. You also have to replace the entire section in the event of a hole. Most rubber propane hose will also come with propane fittings already attached. Never use a quick connect coupling in your main propane line. They are not for permanent applications and they leak a lot. It's important to invest in a high quality rubber hose that is UV resistant and won't be degraded by the propane in the lines. Rubber hose is temperature sensitive. Ranges may vary per manufacturer. One more um, pipe, it's a stainless steel coated rubber. Get all the benefits and negatives of rubber but a little bit more durable because it's got this stainless steel wrap on it. For something more durable, consider copper. There are a few different types of copper line. Any of them can be used for propane. We used refrigeration line because it's soft, flexible, and light, and only runs you about two bucks a foot. Copper flex tubing with gas does require flare fittings, and flare fittings require a flare tool to flare the tubing. And flare is a sealing surface. If it were to get loose at all, it might leak a whole lot more than a threaded connection would. You should not use tape or pipe compound with flare fittings. Similarly to CSST, this can kink or bend if it's over fatigued. Copper also may corrode slowly over time. So we mixed our system. We didn't do just a pure copper system or a pure CSST or black pipe or any of that. We went with black pipe for its strength at all of the major connections. Right out of the propane tank, it goes to a black pipe because it's gonna be very solid right there. Then every time we went through the floor, we went to black pipe again because we didn't wanna risk pinching our CSST or the copper and breaking something. After we came out of the floor, we went to CSST because it's more flexible and less prone to fatigue than copper. So the main lines were all ran in copper. Anytime you wanted more strength, black pipe, and then the flexible connections going to each appliance, CSST. It's important to note that pipe threads get sealant and flares don't. This is a black pipe, black pipe thread. This is a flare fitting. Flare fittings do not get tape or dope. This one would. All right, here are some pipes to never use in a propane system. You don't ever wanna use stainless water hose, garden hose, nylon hose, PEX, zinc, glass, PVC, or any other hose or pipe not rated for propane. 
So we had someone ask about polyethylene piping. I did some research on this and I did find that it is UV sensitive and it's only approved for underground use. I would not re recommend this at all in a mobile application. You should also never use shark bite fittings or compression fittings or any other fitting not rated for propane. I wanna point out that regardless of what tube or pipe that you decide on using, make routine leak checks a part of your regular schedule. Always have your propane system inspected by a professional if you did it yourself. Propane is a hazardous gas. Every precaution should be taken. Propane leak detectors, carbon monoxide and dioxide detectors save lives. Thanks for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative. If I missed anything, put it in the comments down below. Consider subscribing and be safe out there.